forbidden love between a young woman and a diabolical killing machine. I mean, this is Let's Play Sword of Man. Hi, I'm Kalir. That totally wasn't a thing I was doing. Okay, so this is Dime Tower. It's... It's the robot place, because this is an RPG, therefore there must be a robot place. Except, there's also ghosts, because... yeah. Anyway, this is Marshall. He's our new teammate. He's got a laser. It's a physical weapon, and it's also untight, which means that those ghost guys are completely able to be hit by it. But, uh... Yeah, it's really slow. And also, Marshall's AI and stats are terrible, so whatever. We'll, we can ignore him for pretty much this whole thing. Good job, Marshall. You're helping. Meanwhile, Gretel here, she has the Nux, which can fossilize dudes with a kick. That's right, you're made of stone now. Anyway, the trick to Dime Tower is there's code around all the place, and only Marshall can decipher it. But he'll do it wherever he is. And it gives you stupid riddles about spirits and stuff. And basically it just means there's things around here you have to activate. Like this. If we hit that eyeball thing three times, we have solved the puzzle. And also, that crazy hit detection from their soul-sucking move is weird. But whatever. Deciphering complete. This is how they knock on doors. Now I think the sister is the one that's up top this one, but I at first thought it was the eldest, but frankly, who cares? You can just punch them so many times, and then they'll turn all glowy, which means you won. More troublesome is that you have to jump down a level to get to the other two, and you can't jump back up. You have to go around the other way. I know that one's the youngest, so I punch it five times. Get out of my way, puppets. You are magical eye enemies, so you are weak to bludgeoning attacks. Sadly, lasers do not work on them. They have to be attacked with a melee weapon. Or maybe just an actual weapon, rather than just his magic lasers that ignore resistances. Man, it'd be great if his AI was any good so he could shoot that Pinocchio enemy right over there. But he isn't! You failed us all, Marshall. Anyway, we're going this way now. Get out of here, Pinocchios. You are made of stone. Okay, let me just punch this two more times, and yes. Because it does save them between runs for some reason. Throughout Dime Tower, there'll be silver mana statues, but we're not going to deal with them right now. We're going this way. When it says stuff about blowing you back down or knocking down the walls or whatever, that just means that as you go through the area, we'll do this. Apparently, Dime Tower's defense systems involve, you know, crumbling the tower behind it, which seems more than a little impractical, but whatever. Also, there's these things again. You remember these from the subsea volcano? They light you on fire and there's nothing you can do about it? Yeah, I remember those. I remember the hell out of them. Alright, what's in the box? What's in the box? Oh, we'll never know because the box is actually a Mimic, and the Mimic will drop a box that has Mimic type and treasure in it. Because Sword of Mana is a well-designed game. Here, you open it, Marshall. Here is Grand Steel. Oh good, we have more steel. You know, there's not a whole bunch of other stuff we can make stuff out of instead. Alright. Get out of here, chess knight. I demonstrate my kung fu on you. Chess knights don't know kung fu. Meanwhile, Marshall's getting destroyed by those ghost enemies because they can drain his soul. And he doesn't know how to use his laser. You're a terrible warbot. What's around here? Is there anything? Is there nothing? Is there something? There is! We have a choco lump. Hooray for the choco lump. We will never use it. There we go. We gotta jump down on there. Out of my way, you. You are 
made of stone. I like how I can just punch ghosts now, and before I'd have to use light magic, but now I don't have to use magic at all except for healing. And even then, I don't have to heal because the enemy AI is actually pretty bad. It's just that some of them have attacks where they don't need to have AI, they're just like, BOOM! This area is now made of dead! More seeds. Really? Do I really care? No. Alright, there's flail nonsense over there. So yeah, if we break the meta balls, then we can hit the switch. Now, the lower left one is not susceptible to jabbing. It is susceptible to bashing. But I don't think you can jump over there, so it takes me a while to figure out, because our staff isn't have enough reach. Our nugs definitely don't. I mean, maybe they could if we used funky, wacky hitboxes. However, I think the mace actually will be able to hit. But yeah, we can't actually get over there. Maybe you can, but... I don't. So there is actually a way to break this. You have to use the mace. Yeah, I know, right? You thought the mace was useless. Well, it is! It's just hitboxes, that's all. They probably didn't even mean for you to use the mace. They probably meant for you to use, like, jump over there, except you can't. Oh, wait, there's where the stairs were. I had to go all the way around to the other side. I went the wrong way. There we go. And up here is another save point. Let's get my Nux back so I can use a weapon that doesn't suck. I mean, the flail is alright, but seriously, why are we not using the Nux right now? Water Spirit, sure, whatever. There's those little switch things on the ground, that's what it means. Look at me, I can dodge with my Nux even though you're stabbing me repeatedly. Okay, so arranged by their bravery, that just means find the ones that have the largest corpse pile and just hit them in the order from smallest to largest, so that would definitely be the largest over there. Also, the chest knights can heal themselves. Good for them. Also, they keep jumping out of the way. Stop it, chest knights. I hate you so much. Seriously, this is ridiculous. Ooh, treasure. Maybe the chest knights dropped something good. Like, I don't know. Actually, I don't think anything. Nope, they dropped a polter box. Never mind, it just drops whatever these guys drop. Maybe we'll get another elephant tusk. Maybe a dryad icon. Yeah, see, we need more of those. There we go. I hit a switch. Get out of my way. Out of my way, you! better at healing than you are. Okay, so the only thing new in this puzzle is the yellow spirit switch, whatever. But basically, why is this? Why is this? I'm just saying, hit these three things three times. There's no puzzle here, at all. This sure is sort of mad, all right. Yeah, we can't actually activate that until we hit all three of these. Now we have, now we do, now Marshall dies. Sorry, buddy. You have been left on the collapsing portion of the Dime Tower. Incidentally, why is Dime Tower collapsing? It seems like a bad idea for a Tower of Trials to do. two yellow stones so a fire spirit can light a candle. Because I don't know. Yeah, so you step on them, those eyeball orbs light up, and that's how you solve the puzzle in this room. Suddenly I want to play Ghost Trick. 
Not because I'm having my mind invigorated by all these puzzles, but because I want to play a game that actually has puzzles. Sissel, you must claim the Sword of Mana. And also, nearsighted Jigo, he is... He's a good person who has a really tragic backstory about how he has really bad eyesight and also a shotgun. Uh, okay, yeah, remember this puzzle where, hey, there's one corpse, and then there's gonna be two corpses, and there's gonna be twelve corpses? Yeah. Corpses, corpses, roly-poly corpses! Also, there's treasure. I don't know why I'm even bothering to open it at this point in the game. I should just book it to the end of the level. To the end of the game, because that's where we are. Alright, and... that. Hooray, we solved it. Get out of here. Oh, Marshall's dying again. He has one hit point because he walks around on the spikes because there are spikes here. Also, if you sit, just like with casting, you will stop mid-momentum or whatever. Okay, so that one, the puzzle is just kill all the marionettes in the room. Only there's not marionettes because it's nighttime, so they're ghosts instead, so we have to kill all the ghosts. Because this is a well-thought-out game. Activate all three switches and the door will open wherever. Okay, guys. Light magic. There's three of them there. There's three of them and they're all dead. Especially that one. You have been smote by holy light. Alright, and this is the last part. Hey, check this out. Check it out, check it out. Meow! Suddenly, Cradle is a rocket. Yeah, you can jump down there for Altina Alloy, or you can go through here. Either way, really. I like to jump from up there, though, because... Seriously, what? I'm not sure if they intended for that to be a thing you could do, or if they wanted you to go through the fake wall. But I like doing that one more, because... <laughs> Hello, my name is Jumping, how do I work? Anyway, I'm Kalia, this has been Let's Play Sword of Mana. Beneath the hidden yellow stone, two nature spirits sleep. If you wake them, they will knock down the door. Are you scared? You should be. I'm going to eat your flesh.